Hey folks, I'm HP Dr. Pink and today's topic is Cold Cold Feeling by Albert Collins. My favorite blues artist, I must say. Up till now, it's not BB King, it's, it's Albert Collins, check him out. He's not with us anymore, but he has really cool songs, really cool lyrics. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button and join the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. The link is in the description box below. <coughs> Cold, cold feeling. That's a bit loud. It sounds. It's a classical Texas minor blues. In this video, first I'm going to show you the chords which are played well. There are many chords played and I checked out several versions of it. And I've picked the studio version because he's playing it in different keys uh, on different versions, probably because of the singing, because he had too much whiskey or whatever, <laughs> that he couldn't always hit the right pitch. When it comes to Albert Collins, he always had a... He played a lot of... In his early years, he played a lot mostly in the key of B flat and he had a kabu toaster how you call this wait let me get this thing for you this thing here he had on the sixth fret i don't know won't put it here now so he always he always played open string on any recording he did he always played open string and he played with his index finger and his thumb i once read an interest he said his, uh, his thumb is as hard as a pick <laughs> from the playing. <laughs> That's pretty possible. We're going to check out a little bit his playing style. And analyzing his playing is like, uh, it's not too complex. It's just the uh, way with the Telecaster and stuff like that. It's really cool stuff. And um, I really must say his lyrics are just awesome. I just love them. And Cold Cop Feeling is my favorite a uh, song of all minor blueses, of all artists, blues artists, I'm honestly, I must say. And it's really simple to play. So we first start with the chords, then check out a little bit typical Albert uh, Collins licks, and then some ideas which you can do, and that's about it. All right, we are in the key of B flat. As I said, I won't play with Kabutas, and he has normally as a rhythm guitar player, so we're just going to check out a possible rhythm guitar but as I said, there are many different types of rhythm guitar on the recordings, but I'm going to show you a really typical one. So we are in the key of B flat minor. We are playing B flat minor. The whole chord will be like this. Ring finger here in the sixth fret. A string is damped and middle finger in the sixth like this. E flat minor seven is a bar in the sixth middle finger in the seventh ring finger on the d string in the eighth and f7 eight on the a string seven on the d string eight on the g string and six on the b string and once we're moving up to g flat seven to f7 so these are the chords now we have first have an intro and then the whole verse or chorus or whatever repeats itself all the time. So the intro is um, like this. I'm going to play it for you. Wait. So we're with the track. It's start with F. So that was the intro. Um, it's in six eights, so you can one, two, three, four, five, six. And the basic rhythm figure, which always works, is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, 
You can one, two, three, four, it's a six, eight beat. So this is the pulse, it's on, on fifth, it's really slow. One, two, three, four, five, that's six, eight. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So the first long, second short. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. You can play with thumb, with pick, whatever. I'm gonna play with finger picking. This is more authentic. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you can, of course, do the pick. E flat minor. On the B, you don't need to do the full one, you just can do this bar in the six on the top four strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. And E flat minor. And then the whole chorus starts. I'm gonna play the whole thing with the chorus. It's really simple. I'm gonna explain while I play, it's really slow, so I still have time to explain. And yeah, you will see. So it starts with the intro, F7, E flat minor 7, B flat minor 7, E flat, B flat. And now it starts. Start with B flat. Do E flat. Back to B flat. E flat. Now new F7, move up to B-flat 7, F7, B-flat minor, E-flat minor, that's the whole thing, now it starts again, it's really simple I must say, but that's how it is, the rhythm guitar is not so important on minor blues. Um, the rhythm guitar player, which is on the recording, makes certain uh, little figures, and one will be. So he's doing the B flat minor seven like this. Moves up. See. That's a figure which happens sometimes, but it's really random. There's not a system behind it. And each other uh, recording is different. So you cannot say it has to be exactly like this. It's just an idea how to do it. E flat 7, minus 7. Here again, same thing with here, 7, 8. Or that would also work, 7, 8. G string is damped on the D and B string. Seven and eight. Slide up two back. And that's basically the two figures which repeat themselves more or less from time to time. Now let's get to the, the lead guitar. Uh, first, the Albert Collins technique. As I said, he has a couple of in the sixth, well, in the fifth fret because we're in B flat. It's here, I'm gonna won't put in do it now but because uh, I mean if you want if you want to have the real original vibe you can do it but it's not the point to get the sound and with his picking hand I checked out in the videos he used the index finger like just like this and sometimes he, he used the thumb something like this he's playing only pentatonics B minor pentatonics here, sixth fret. This and in the second position, move, moving up here in twelve, uh, eleven, nine, eleven, and yeah. And so the main licks, which he's doing, it's not really licks, he's working around these figures. This one with the <laughs> index finger. 
this is a very common lick which is using. Here we start in the sixth slide up in the eleventh. And then, and then down here in the sixth and eighth with the bending in and working a little bit around this and sometimes it slides from the eighth in the tenth fret and these are let's if we put it down I always say all the cousins plays basically three licks these are the three licks this one here this one also and this one and and the rest is more or less moving around these legs. So let's uh, give you an idea now. See, that's what he did, and the rest is the, the son of the tele and there's the index finger <laughs> which moves around here if you really want to have it original yeah so that's for his style it's not way much more to say that's but uh, i mean uh, don't get me wrong it's really simple but i love i really love what he's doing i remember i once did a tutorial i made a little joke about guitar plays from the 60s and people really got me wrong on that so i'm really careful now what I say about people because I don't want to hurt anybody's feeling when I say things are simple doesn't mean that it's bad it's just cool sometimes sometimes not okay now let's if you want to get more into this minor blues thing Texas minor blues and don't stick uh, just to all by Collins because all by Collins is really simple to play um, then a few ideas here now which really work. The first tip on minor blues is you have a lot of um, opportunities to play unnecessary notes. That's the main the main task of minor blues because it's so slow you can play so many wrong notes or unnecessary notes. The trick is to to cut away all the unnecessary notes. That could mean that you don't play much. Something like this would probably just be enough. So we also we work around the, the main licks as Albert Collins because it's not only the Albert Collins, it's these are the licks which work best. That now I play with pick. And this lick is very important, this one. This one here. Here from the um, ninth to eleventh. And this is in one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. If you want to play six dolls on this slow bit, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and then one, two, the first two six. So this is really important lick. It looks simple, but it has to be. What is also cool if you play with pick is when you do a lot of like rakes. Or opposite rakes from Upton. See? Let's see how that works. Yeah, rakes really work well, up or down. You can also treat them as sweeps. So that the, the, the strings which you just pass ring more, or just <coughs> it's up your personal taste. And that is with any herb in the kitchen. If you take it too much, it's not cool. It's the, because then it's too strong. Just be tasty with that. I mean, it's really simple. Uh, let's do. I show you. This is. You just take the chord with the B minor chord here. And then you go up here in the sixth fret. Or if you want to have this one here, 
or opposite. You take again this bar, this chord. See, really works. It's really cool and works great. And together with, you're already pretty much there we want to be. What is also important because it is so slow that you have the main timing going as one, two, three, four, five, six, or the six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. That you have this feeling. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. That will be in six holes and or in triplets. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, something is get this vibe of the three or six. Um, the power of three or six is really an important thing in music anyway. Check my tutorial, The Power of Three, by the way. It's on my channel. And it really works. It keep this, get into this feeling of three or six, and then you're pretty much to go. What also helps, and that will be the last thing to show, a little lick in sex dolls. This one works great. Starts with the rake here, and then pull off from eight to six, and uh, nine to six. Again, nine. You keep your finger here as a bar. Eh? See? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you make the pull off here, and then you can continue as you would like. Something like this. You can go either up or down, and this really works cool. And so on. Really works great, and it's cool, and it's you don't need to do more. Serious. The more you, the harder you try to do something extra, the worse it gets. Believe me on that topic. I mean, if you find this, I, I try many years. Minor blues is one of my favorite topics, and um, I came to the finding: uh, let it breathe and don't push it too hard is the best way to deal with minor blues. Yeah. Okay, guys. One more to say. As I said, um, minor blues is very slow. The main thing to keep in your mind is you have a lot of op opportunity to play unnecessary notes. Don't play them. Better play nothing than one un unnecessary note. That's the main thing. And you can make an orientation on the Albert Collins licks. Well, they're not licks, just yeah, somehow they're licks, but just the three main movements which he's doing with a lot of variations, of course. It's don't uh, push it now and say, hey, well, it's not, a, it's not only three licks. I mean, it's three main ideas, and he works around those three ideas more or less in a very creative way. And that's the main thing. Get creative. And blues is about expressing an emotion and not playing licks. And take my advice on, which I found out over the years on minor blues and there, you're pretty much on the way to go. Um, yeah, that's about all I wanted to say. I'm going to play something at the end again for you. Um, if you want to download the backing track and the tabs, they're available in the HB Crazy Guitar Academy. Follow me there. That's my main thing, which you can follow me now. I, s I skip everything else. Just uh, keep in touch with me there. Support my, the work I'm doing for you. Become a member there. Make the premium membership upgrade to keep this whole thing going on in these um, difficult times. 
even if you don't like every video which I'm doing, and just a few for you support the HP Crazy Guitar C Academy, the little community of g guitar lovers. And we all work together and contribute something. I really work hard that you have great content and a pre show your appreciation with your premium membership upgrade. You can make the yearly one, it's really not so expensive. Good. Me and Dr. Pink are now playing a little sequence then and saying bye, guys. <laughs> Thank you.